Okay, so we're just uh, cleaning up on some of the last issues inside the Lazarus game. This is the last one, I think. Uh, we had a problem where we weren't seeing our, uh, you know, like in Tetris, where you can see what the next block shape is going to be that's coming down. We want to do the same thing in this game. So in the bottom left-hand corner, we want to show what the next box is going to be. Because you can look at that and kind of plan where you want the current box to land by looking at the net where the next box is. Uh, but we won't. We weren't ever seeing that. Uh, let me show you the behavior. And what you'll notice is, yeah, we just never see the next box. And it has to do with the order we're doing things in the, uh, in the controller's uh, step event. OK, so. Oh. Yeah, he shut that off. Oh, it's loud. You see that in that bottom left-hand corner? It just doesn't doesn't quite work. Okay. So the problem is right here. We we create this one creates a random object, and you should have four of these, uh, one for each type of uh, next block. Mine just has two because I haven't done the other two yet, but. We, we choose the next one, and then we automatically change it. And so we don't actually ever see it. And so the issue here is timing. You want to do this after you start the falling one, and you want to create the new one. And then while the new one is falling, you can actually see which one the next bo box is going to be. So let me uh, try it one more time. Okay, so if you look in the bottom left corner, uh, you can see what the next block is going to be. I think that was the last issue that we hadn't solved inside Lazarus. So make that change, and then make five levels, and we'll, uh, we'll do that next. I'm trapped. Oh, so close. Again, make sure all your sounds are in there. <laughs> 